on this beautiful morning. The Honorable Yusuf Ayo Tajuddin and other members of the government here present, the pastorate and the diaconate board of the Bridge Church, the tireless dream team members of the Bridge, guests and friends, fellow Nigerians. Today we celebrate a milestone in our journey of nationhood. We are taught in the scriptures to number our days as a tool for gaining a heart of wisdom. So after 61 years on this great journey as a nation, we need to pause, take stock, and plan for the work of nation building that lies before each and every one of us. The story of Nigeria is my story as much as it is all our stories. For nothing binds us so tightly as our collective and decisive will to live together on this patch of earth called Nigeria. And he saw a land green and beautiful. He felt so welcomed that he got off the train without a care or a contact and started a new life. A new and a productive life with people who spoke a different language. They had a different set of norms, but a unified value for life and for tolerance. It was in this crucible of greatness that I was formed. I was shaped and I was nurtured. Even though I'm Igbo by tribe from the Imo state in the southeast, I was not formed in Igbo, in Obo Imo state. I was not formed in the southeast. I was formed in Nigeria. And so I am Nigerian before anything else. I learned the true genius of what it meant and still means to be Nigerian. The genius of creating greatness out of nothing. Just like God introduced himself to Abraham as one who lives life, who gives life to the dead and calls the things who do not exist as though they do, we must call Nigeria into existence. Littered across the pages of history, written and history being written are iconic Nigerians who have defied odds and hoped against hope to deliver excellence, value, and incredible impact. Without attempting to be very exhaustive, uh, let me mention a few familiar names. Fumilayo Ransom Kuti, Ngozi Okonjo Iwala, Ayodeji Ibrahim Balogun, also known as Whiskid, Chief Emeka Anyoko, Oluwale Shoinka, Nnamdi Azikiwe, Herbert Samuel Macaulay, Amadu Bello, Hajiya Gambo Sawaba, Aminu Kanu, Am Ameyo Adedivo, Balarabi Musa, and arguably the spiritual father of the nation, Pastor Enoch Adeboe. These men and women, amongst so many honor I haven't mentioned today, have shown us what it truly means to be Nigerian. But with every beautiful image is a dark side, a shadow that attempts to superimpose itself on the brilliance of form. Over the past two decades, we have had hirelings who have exploited what divides us as a people, but unite them in their evil. They have fed us with lies and try to redefine who we are for a man with a confused definition of himself is worse than a man with a false definition. These hirelings have come, have taken over from our colonial masters who exploited us by divide and rule. They have simply changed the name of the game from divide and rule to religious and ethnic sentiments. The names are different, but the effect is the same. But today, I am calling like Jesus did on the last day of the feast in John chapter 7. To every Nigerian, I am calling to remind you of who you are. We are not northern Nigerians. We are not southern Nigerians. We are not middle belt Nigerians. We are not eastern Nigerians. We are simply Nigerians. And Nigerians are intelligent. Nigerians are smart. Nigerians are hardworking. Nigerians are creative. Nigerians who care for one another, just like when we had the NSARS movement, they practically displayed such care. We are nation builders. We are building Nigeria. 
and we are building Nigeria relationship by relationship, family by family, workplace by workplace. It is time to take responsibility and act like our true self. It's time to come back to our true north. Faith, the Bible says, without works is dead. So we must pray for Nigeria like never before. But beyond that, we must work for Nigeria like never before. Working means uh, we must get involved in the political process. Start by registering to vote. Go beyond that to actually finding a political party to belong to. Even go further to ensure that you vote when it's time to vote. Because our vote represents our voice. This is also a call to the Esthers, the Nehemiahs, the men and the women of influence who have a voice that is louder and more powerful than the average. You were born for such a time as this to guide Nigerians into rediscovering her, her true definition. Please, I want you to join the political space and shape both the conversations and the candidates who will lead our nation. A great man once said, the future is everything we have not done or we have become. We can deliver the future today if we take action now. So do your part to build a nation for the future today. And God will bless you. God will bless the church of God in Nigeria. And God will bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yeah. You can put...